two great rivals, culturally and in football terms, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Tonight, they're on a collision course in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League. Derek Ray and Lee Dixon here at the home of Barcelona. Lee, what are you anticipating seeing? Well, as a player, I always prefer to play in those big games. It sharps the focus, gets your attention, and there's no bigger game than this in world football for me. The Blagrana against the Merengues. We're thoroughly looking forward to it. This is what we expect from the Blagrana. Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. Clément Longley plays alongside Samuel Umtiti in the middle of the defence. And beginning the game up front today is Antoine Griezmann. Starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Stefan de Frey plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Toni Kroos starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. And they kick off this Champions League quarter final first leg. De Jong Messi Messi and it's in 1-0 they breach the defence well this is worth another look Derek lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender and once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat he hammers it into the back of the net smashing goal Well, just look at the reactions on the touchline. They just need to keep their composure now. This is far from over. Messi. Well, we have a mouth-watering tussle from La Liga coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid against Alaves. Can he do it? It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room, if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. That's all there is time for, the full-time whistle. And Barcelona with the lead going into the second leg of this tie. Yes, Derek, we're expecting a tight, tight game. That's what we got. But can they keep that advantage going into the second leg? It should be a cracker. And a more than satisfactory night at the office for Philip Coutinho. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. A really exciting night ahead of us here at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon. And we're getting ready for a quarter-final second leg match in the Champions League. It's Real Madrid facing Barcelona. Yeah, thanks Derek. Barcelona just about edged it in that first leg. I thought the tempo of the game they set, I thought they were brilliant in midfield, but overall they can't afford to switch off, still very, very tight. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. 
And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. This is what we think for Barcelona. Mark and Peter Stegen starts in goal. Samuel Umtiti starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. Sergio Busquets plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. And the lead striker today is Antoine Griezmann. The Champions League quarter-final second leg commences. Rafael Varan. Isco has it. Now Busquets. Dembele. And back with Busquets. Coutinho! And it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. Hazard has it. Hazard. Lucas Vasquez waits. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Sergio Busquets. Oh, in with a chance. He's got to score. Usman Dembele is the man who has scored here. Well, it's good build-up, but there's one player standing in front of the goal, and it falls to him, and he's not going to miss from there. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? is that full time and Barcelona move on well you can't say Derek they didn't deserve it by far the better team over two legs all departments of their team was functioning well the midfield dominated and up front they were clinical well impossible to ask footballers to produce magic every single game and it didn't quite happen for him tonight well, I think average would be the operative word to describe his performance, Derek. Just unable to influence the game for large periods. And that played its part in the result in the end.